coming into tonight's game, Tioga's only loss in district came against Ash. Ash is across town playing Leesville. If Tioga can beat Grant tonight and Leesville beat Ash, then it'll set up a district 3-4A championship match next week with Tioga facing Leesville. Well, coming into tonight's game, both Mansfield and Menard were undefeated in district, but Menard's all over Mansfield, 21 to nothing at halftime. Well, coming into the Arkansas game, LSU knew they'd have to stop Darren McFadden. Well, LSU failed to do this. Not only did McFadden gain over 200 yards and three rushing touchdowns, but he showed his versatility by adding one through the air. Uh, everyone know going into the game, he was a really good athlete and a great player. And, um, you know, he stepped up and made some plays when it was time. You know, we had some chances to get him, and uh, we missed him. And he capitalized on the opportunity. Great back, you know I mean? He runs hard. He plays a lot of effort. And, I mean, he had a heck of a game and just... He just capitalized on a lot of our mistakes, you know, and he just came out and played hard. McFadden had a remarkable 289 all-purpose yards against a number two ranked LSU defense. With this dominant performance, McFadden showed why he's a Heisman front runner. Well, certainly he, uh, he had a Heisman performance. He's got the, the great combination of power and speed. And uh, if, he's not a, if he's not a first player that the position taken, I'll be surprised. He's a phenom. You know, he's a hybrid. The guy is 6'2", 220 pounds. You know, he runs a maybe a 4'3", 4'2", 4'. And uh, he's just a great athlete. You know, he, he does a really good job of playing behind his pads and running behind his pads and reading his blockers. So you know, he came in and um, he did what he was supposed to do. That was get the victory. For News Channel 5 Sports, I'm Jeremy Lee.